They look so delicious. We are going to be making the most divine chocolate truffles that just melt in your mouth. And what is really great about this recipe is that it's super versatile. My name is Taryn and I'm a professional baker from South Africa. I've made some crazy, weird and wonderful cakes in my time. And now I hope to pass those skills on to you as I bake, make and create with the Super Moms Club. Today you are in for the most incredible chocolate treat you have ever eaten in your life. We are going to be making the most divine chocolate truffles that just melt in your mouth. Welcome to episode number eight. Now today's recipe unfortunately was not developed by me. It is one of the very few recipes I would share with you that I haven't actually made myself. But this recipe is just too good to not share so I thought I have to dedicate a blog episode to it. And what is really great about this recipe is that it's super versatile. You can make the chocolate truffles, but then you can use them in a milkshake or even melted and put over some yummy ice cream. So these are perfect for a Friday night movie and you can just kind of treat yourself and pop them into your mouth and be in complete bliss. So on that note, let's get into the ingredients. You will need one and a third cups of icing sugar, half a cup of cocoa powder, two teaspoons of instant coffee, 120 grams of crushed Mari biscuits, 250 mils of condensed milk, two teaspoons of vanilla essence, 100 grams of butter, and an optional variation of two tablespoons of your favorite liqueur. These chocolate truffles have an alcohol variation to them, so you can decide if you would like to keep or omit that. Obviously, if you keep it, it is going to strictly be a mommy and daddy treat. So I'll let you decide how kind you are and what you would like to do. So what we are going to do is start by adding the dry ingredients into a mixing bowl and you can sip in your icing sugar. Then you can add your cocoa and your instant coffee. And then you can use a spoon to coax those last little coffee granules through your sip. So next we are going to be crushing our Mari biscuits. Now I'm going to use just a blender like this one. If you don't have a blender, you can place the Mari biscuits into a freezer bag and then use a rolling pin and crush them down until they become a nice fine powder. So I'm just going to weigh out 120 grams. And now I can crush away. So what you really should aim for is a very fine powder from the Mari biscuits. So what I find helps sometimes is just to give your blender a bit of a shake and then you can put it back on again. And then if there are any extra bigger biscuit bits, they are going to get ground down by the blades. Alright, so now they can be added in with the rest of the dry ingredients. So you don't have to sip them in, so you can just take your sip out and then pour them straight into the rest of your dry ingredients and then give it a stir to combine and make a well in the middle. And now we can add our wet ingredients. So I have melted my butter in the microwave on full power. I popped it in for 30 seconds, then took it out, gave it a stir, put it back in again for another 30 seconds. That should do the job. So you can go ahead and add that into your dry ingredients. And then you can add your condensed milk and the vanilla essence. And now you can add the alcohol if you would like to do so. So you can use any liqueur you fancy. You could use our South African favorites like Amarula or some Cape Velvet, or you could use some Frangelico or even some coffee liqueur, which would really add just a lovely flavor to these truffles. And then you can put it onto your mixer and mix it until all your ingredients have combined. It smells so yummy. So now what I'm going to do is put this mixture into the fridge for around 20 to 30 minutes to allow it to cool nicely so that when you are rolling the balls you don't kind of get a hot chocolate mess all over your palms. And then we can get straight into rolling them. Mm -hmm. 
So while I'm waiting for the mixture to get cold in the fridge, I'm going to go through just some of the different toppings that you can coat your chocolate truffles in. So you can use anything from desiccated coconut to melted chocolate, sprinkles, whatever you like. Today I'm going to be using some chopped nuts. So I have chopped the nuts really nice and finely so that they can coat them really well. And then I'm using some chocolate vermicelli, which I find is really easy to use. You can kind of just roll the balls in it and it sticks to them. And then the last thing is some cocoa powder. Now, this recipe makes around 40 chocolate truffles. So I will be doing 10 of each in these three different toppings. And the last 10 I am going to store in my freezer so that if I'm wanting to make a chocolate milkshake, I can haul one or two out and pop it into that mix or if I'd like to melt them and pour it over some nice ice cream, then I can do that. So it's a lovely backup to have in your freezer. My mixture is out of the fridge and nice and cold. And now using just a normal measuring spoon, I'm going to spoon out the mixture and then roll it into little balls. And then they can get coated in my first topping, which is going to be the nuts. So just gently roll them around and they'll pick up all the nuts. Now I'm going to coat my next tin with some chocolate vermicelli by rolling the balls in it. And lastly, I'm going to coat these tin with some cocoa powder, really upping the chocolate punch. In next week's episode, the best carrot cake you've ever eaten. If you liked this episode, hit the like button and remember to subscribe to see more videos.